Hey guys, 2004 number one. I chose this problem because another array problem, okay? Um, this one's gonna be really fast, really easy. I hope you guys can press the pause button, read it by yourself, and then get straight to the answer and try it, all right. So the following class word list is designed to store and manipulate a list of words. The incomplete class declaration is shown below. You'll be asked to implement two methods. Here is our class. Here is our array list called my list. Typically, when we pass this through a constructor, uh, we will do my list equals new array list. Um, and the type would be, oh, contain strings. So it would be strings, okay? Um, once again, this is from 2004, so it's an old one. All right, we have this public int num words of length, which is uh, takes a integer length. Uh, what does it do? Post condition returns the number of words in the word list that are exactly the length letters long, which means whatever we pass through here. Okay, so that's going to be actually very simple. Write the word list method num words of length. Method num words of length returns the num of words in the word list that are exactly len letters long. For example, if we have uh, my list of the word list animals, cat, mouse, frog, dog, dog, and we have um, the table below, if the length was four, only one of them, which is frog. If it was three, then we have three of them, cat, dog, dog, and then two, none of them. Okay, so complete this method. Here we go. First, you're going to get the method header, and you need to return an integer. That's the most important thing. So you're going to start with a counter, and you're going to return the count. You're going to go through the list. You do not need string here, but you can go through the list if the name of your array list, my list, dot get i dot length equals equals length, which you pass through here, count plus plus. Remember that dot l-e-n-g-t-h is returns how many um, letters there are in a string, okay? So that's the most important thing here. Dot get i allows you to access the arrays. You need this before this. Great. Part B, write the word list method remove words of length. Now remember in an array list, you want to go backwards when you're removing something. Method remove words of uh, length removes all the words from the word list that are exactly the length letters long, leaving the order of remaining words unchanged. For example, assume that the instance variable my list of the word Adam, cat, mouse, frog, dog, dog. If it says four, then it's going to leave anything that's not four. If it says three, then it gets rid of him, him, and him. So let's do that. And I left the answer here. Once again, here's your, um, here's your method. The most important thing is to know what you're returning. In this case, it's a void, so you're not returning anything. All right, so they did this with a while loop. I did it with a for loop. We know that we, when we want to remove, if we don't go backwards, in other words, if we don't do start from the end and then decrease, then you are going to skip one unless you do I minus minus. All right, so all you're going to do is if my list i dot length equals equals length my list dot remove i and that's all for this slow down the video or stop the video and take down notes and i hope that was helpful